it's a good feeling to know that you got a bunch of cops, uh, uh, federal and local, that are helping you out in something like this, because this could have gone bad real quick. The Beaumont police chief reacting to the arrest of a capital murder suspect. Good evening, I'm Bill Leger. Thank you for joining us. Kelly is off tonight. Law enforcement officers say the suspect had an assault rifle inside an apartment facing a window, and they believe he intended to use it. They were able to talk 28-year-old Jose Chinchilla into giving up before he could hurt anyone today. On June 12th, investigators say Chinchilla killed 24-year-old Francisca Garza and 44-year-old Gregorio Sanchez at a home on Margot Lane in Beaumont. Garza and Chinchilla had a two-year-old child together. According to police, Sanchez was trying to break up an argument between Garza and the suspect when both were shot. A justice of the peace issued two capital murder warrants for Chinchilla, and police spent the past eight days searching for him. KFDM reporter Callie Desimone was on the scene when officers arrested Chinchilla, and when he left the police station, she's in the studio tonight with more. Callie. Bill, it was a successful end to a mission completed by a team of law enforcement officers. That's how Beaumont police... Road apartments in Beaumont, thanks to a Crime Stoppers tip. Police brought a lot of firepower for the arrest, including a Port Arthur Police armored personnel carrier. They call it the Bear. Members of the Beaumont Police SWAT team and officers with the U.S. Marshals Service quickly evacuated the apartment building where Chinchilla was hiding. Chief Singletary says a negotiator spoke with Chinchilla, who was using a cell phone. Singletary says at first Chinchilla told officers he didn't want to come out of the apartment alive. Eventually, the negotiator was able to talk to Chinchilla into surrounding. Once they went inside the apartment, officers found an assault rifle mounted on a stand. The rifle was pointed out the window. Once officers arrested Chinchilla, they drove him to the Beaumont Police Station. Investigators say he gave a statement through a translator. Chinchilla left the police station late this afternoon in handcuffs and with a grin on his face. He was taken to the Jefferson County Jail. Chief Singletary says it was the team effort that made up of the Beaumont Police Department, Port Arthur Police Department, and the U.S. Marshals Service that paid off. Just a good deal for us to have a, we can make, pick up a phone call and have somebody from the U.S. Marshals Service get on it real quick and they got the, brought their whole group with us and, uh, and it, it I think that helps. We tracked him pretty, pretty, uh, pretty closely for uh, right after the, the incident. That's why we took those precautions and we called in the, uh, the help and auxiliary that we used. Uh, we said this guy was uh, armed and dangerous, and uh, we took all the measures that we uh, had to take to make sure that everyone came out of it safely. Justice of the Peace Ken Dollinger set Chinchilla's bond at $1 million. If convicted of capital murder, Chinchilla could face the death penalty. Reporting live in the studio, Callie Desimone, KFDM 6 News.